It's a first evening game at Blackwell Meadows this season as Alan Armstrong's current side go looking for their sixth win of the season in a row against his former employers, Blythe Spartans, who will be looking to end a run of four without a win themselves in the league and take three points from this fixture for the first time since October 2017. For the Quakers, it's two changes as Adriano Moke and Jacob Hazel, who went off injured on Saturday, haven't recovered and are replaced by Jarrett Rivers making his first start of the season and Danny Rose. Familiar names in the away lineup with Michael Liddle starting and Josh Gillies on the bench, and they make one change with Corey McKeown replacing Lewis McNall, taking his place in the starting lineup after taking his place on Saturday from the bench. Ball is played left by Devadich. So it's over to Main over on that far side. Main comes inside. Chance uh, for. Blythe's number eight Hickey to move the ball right hand side there's a chance to cross here perhaps Darlington doing some defending through Rivers two men over there to try and stop the cross now and it comes back to Hickey again tight against this right hand side line he's happy to come back to Elsden Elsden plays the ball into feet 30 yards from the Darlington goal plays the ball left chance for the shot from distance which is blocked by Lawler comes back to the taker though I think it is uh, Devadich Devadich comes back to Bodenham Blythe Spartans passing the ball around nicely here trying to find a chance for a shot again and the shot's dragged wide there by Jordan Hickey to bring that move to an end Jordan Hickey Hickey plays a diagonal there trying to play the ball behind Ben Headley I think it's just about going to stay in so Headley's going to have some defensive work it's the furthest point from our country position but the ball comes in and Main's challenging for it before Rose has to hook it away I think he won it but didn't get the direction it went backwards rather than goalwards although it would have gone over Rivers does some nice defensive work there and then finds Lambert Lambert back to Rose Darlington have been sloppy so far in possession Rose just about keeps it and then Lambert comes helps him out finds Sukar Sukar switches it nice ball that from the left footed Sukar over to the right hand side where he sees Ben Headley the opposite full back he finds Felix Felix has got a little run on his man a little bit of space to work in here Felix gets to the end of the box has the shot just past the post it's the best chance of the game so far first move the Quakers have been able to put together and it's uh, a quick counter attack Kane Felix cutting inside getting the shot away left footed just to the left of Alex Mitchell's post could be owner of Ford Focus registration. Darling finally getting on the ball. Darling probably only had about 20% of the possession so far, but they have created the best chance. Pyth play the ball up to the feet of uh, O'Donnell. Try and play it through the thirds there, but Darling pick possession up. But then Headley's a little bit untidy in possession and. Blythe come again this time down the right hand side through Richardson Richardson's going to cross it uh, Blythe, Blythe player uh, Main comes to the ball on the edge of the box sh shifts it onto his right foot and gets a shot which is blocked but he keeps possession he's going to try and bring it onto his right foot again brings it all the way back this time Blythe 30 yards from goal just trying to find a little bit of space it's uh, Devadich on the ball Main's turned his man there and it's Headley who has to go back and defend that one and the Blythe Spartans team are appealing for a I thought they were appealing for a back pass, but the referee, the Lions has put his flag up and indicated a goal kick, and then the referee played into the feet of uh, Michael Little, actually over on the right-hand side. Don't see him often over here on the right-hand side. Maybe still after the taking of the corner earlier, maybe they swapped to get the right-footed on the, on the corner anyway. Ball played down the line, looking for Main. He's going to just about keep that ball in. Very, very furthest point as we look here at Blackwell Meadows. He's going to have a run at David Wheat. It comes back onto his right foot. There's a chance for the shot distance over the bar. Blythe Spartans are getting close. Yeah. He's about five yards away from where he was fouled when he tried. Ball played down the line. Left hand side for Blythe Spartans. Come inside. Rose presses his man. Can't get possession though, and Blythe Spartans move it down the left-hand side with a chance to cross. Cross does come in, Mains underneath it. He gets a header again, which only goes a short distance over the bar. Tommy Taylor seemed pretty comfortable. I was going to say, Tommy Taylor was happy to watch that go over the bar, but I wasn't. Another well-worked effort. Needs to cross into the area, which Cedric Main gets his head to. Over the bar, but it's another... Half chance for the visitors. 
Blythe have it in the left back position play a diagonal ball looking for Lawler Lawler finds Rivers who lets the ball come across his body and turns and turns back again back to the halfway line plays it right to Headley Headley plays it down the line a lot of fizz on that ball almost found uh, Rivers running through it's a good slide and challenge actually concedes the corner maybe trying to uh, as you mentioned earlier Mark Beck not the tastiest so Jarrett thought he'd ask the question instead Good pack tin shed getting behind the team as Darlington take this left footed corner. It's in swing, it's right under the crossbar and he won't go off that. Beck's got the head to it, just flashes wide, but Mark Beck was the man who rose highest to make the connection. Oh, actually, I think it was David Wheater, I apologise. Throw in taken down the line and uh, turned around the corner, but Michael Little gets there first to pick it up. Purvis up against him now. Purvis slides in, he might have got a little bit of the ball, but the referee says free kick and Blythe take it quickly. Burst down the left-hand side. Lambert covers back up against O'Donnell. O'Donnell comes inside to Richardson. No, it's not Richardson. Actually, apologies. David Dix. He comes to Elsden. Elsden then plays a the ball forward, but uh, Lawler picks it up. But then Perva gives possession away. He finds Elsden, who's in an unfamiliar attack and spot here down the left-hand side. He finds Main. Main gets the chance for the shot. Taylor has to make the save and gets it at the second attempt. McEwen brings it central and then plays it over to the right hand side far side as we sit here at Blackwell Meadows played down the line and is that uh, Ben I can't see who that is that it's, uh, Lawler actually clears it Mark Beck there's a lovely delightful cushion header there to Lambert Lambert's pull back and that's a clear that's a yellow, card, a yellow card as I you're think. gonna see all day nice play Beck cushioned it yeah. down and Lambert was beyond Elsdon, he was running into space and Elsdon just put both arms around his waist and pulled him to the ground. I think he knows what's coming if he doesn't do that. A through ball to Kane Felix. And a chance for the home side. Did what he had to do. Yeah. But a decisiveness in play needed. Picked the right ball out. Didn't do it there. Ball played down the line. Sukar wins the header. Rose knocks it back. Rose has been very comfortable in yeah. possession today. It's just it's not that it's not the problem. It's the uh, you know you need, you need a little bit more pace. You need a little bit more of a box to box midfield to come on. Perver and Rose playing together are similar. Ball played left to Rivers. Rivers takes a nice touch there. He's going to have a chance to run at his man. Gets around the outside. Pulls it back. In fact, to Lambert on the edge of the box, but his shot goes uh, high and wide. A little bit better though. 15 minutes into the second half and that's the first thing I think we can describe as a chance Jack Lambert with the shot over the bar by Michael Little stretching his leg out there Lambert turns it round the corner to Felix as a challenge goes in there and Lambert and Perver the ball fell in between them and Blythe didn't wait for a second chance ball comes now with Sukar Sukar to Beck Beck comes back looking for Perver Perver 30 yards from goal sees Headley Headley just outside the 18 yard box he's going to cross it puts it into the box it's sliced wide off the defender and just goes across the face of goal and Was that junior Mondal junior came racing into the back post and that touch from the defender it wasn't what he wanted to do by any stretch of the imagination but it's just enough to take it away from junior Mondal but again darling a little bit slow to react there I felt but the ball comes down the left hand side to Cornish little slides in but doesn't get the ball Cornish is still on it he gets his head up and plays a sideways ball to uh, a teammate then he gets the ball back Cornish referee going away a little bit there There's, might be a chance for a Blythe shot but it's well marshalled by Lawler and Felix comes back to Deva Dix drops his shoulder comes inside little one two by Blythe which Ben Little has to tidy up Lambert then turns it around the corner Blythe still in this game looking for three points not holding on for one Deva Dix plays it through the gap they turn the ball round again. Stand, chance to play one through the middle. Chance for the shot. Just hits the side net and there by Blythe Spartans. I don't think it was super, super close, but a decent effort. Nice move to sound. I think it was Matthew Cornish who had the shot in the end. But for all the Quakers are knocking on the door at one end, occasionally they will let Blythe have a look at the other. So, certainly not killing the game, are they, uh, Blythe? JJ O'Donnell withdrawn and for the final 13 minutes. Referees having a word with uh, one of the stewards there. I think it's, is it the goal net come out again, do you think? Because uh, I must admit the goal, nets, the goal nets here are a source of <laughs> constant uh, bother, aren't they? I think it's just yeah, getting fixed. I think yeah. it's actually come off its stanchion at the top there. I think that's the, the, the sort of post behind it. 
four or five minutes there, I think. We have about six and a half to go. Be interesting to see which way it goes because it, it's Darlington did have a little bit of a head of yeah. steam there. It feels like it's the game stopped again. It feels flat again, doesn't it? Now yeah. turns left, comes central, comes back to Lawler. Blythe Spartans every man behind the ball. Two and a half minutes of normal time left, but of course we are expecting. I don't know how many, seven, eight minutes stoppage time, would you say, in total? I think seven or eight is probably about a good shout, yep. Weeter across to Headley. Darlington trying to create something. There's a slip there by Michael Little, so Headley has a bit of space. Plays the ball down looking for Lambert, but Lambert's not going to get there ahead of Boddenham. Boddenham clears it down the line, but it doesn't go out of play, so Headley keeps it in. Headley switches it across to the left-hand side. Sukar gets there, plays it off his man, shout for handball not given, Sukar still in possession, finds Little I think, cross comes into the box, Beck's up, he's got a chance, falls, oh great oh, save by is. Mitchell, what a great save to keep his team in the he's game. Charging out. I think it was Mondal who got yeah. on the, on the not knock. Not had much to do Alex Mitchell but very awake to that one as Mondal came charging in on it. That's probably Darlin's best chance yeah. of the game would you say? Absolutely. Good ball from Little as well it was. Ball played forward it's again. Towards four it's minutes of added time now. Perver drops the ball back to Headley from the throw. Headley pushes it past his man and gets down that right hand side. Tries to get the cross left footed. It's a good cross. All the way around the back post. Chance comes to Little at the end. Little shoots. Oh, oh the left oh. end. Little. Raspberry volley into the bottom corner. What a goal. That is sensational from Ben Little. It's taken 94 minutes, but the Quakers finally lead. Alan Armstrong, you're a genius. <laughs> Great substitution. Ben Little, what fantastic technique as the ball was cleared to him. He had to stay calm. You see those go over the tin shed you plenty do, of times, but Little We've had the seen quality. Them go over the tin shed tonight, but he just dropped. He waited. He watched it. His left foot threw it. Bottom corner. Darling the one. Blythe nil. Ben Little, what a way to open your account for Darling Football Club. You've got to feel a little bit for Blythe Spartans. They've played a really great part in this game. There's still a few minutes left for them to try and get something out of it. Taylor to take it. He does take it. Referee does blow his whistle and Darlington emerge victorious through a Ben Liddell worldie. Well, it took 94 minutes for a winner here at Blackwell Meadows tonight but boy oh boy was it worth the wait Ben Little with his left foot from the edge of the area volleying home the only goal of the game that brings Darlington three points a sixth win in a row and what a great run of form that is to be heading into a tricky FA Cup tie on Saturday